Okay, in this Photoshop video, we're going to look at pixelating an image. And what you see on the screen here is Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting of the Mona Lisa. And what we're going to do to it is use a pixel effect to pixelate the image. And the final image is going to look like this. So we're going to go ahead and start out by getting the image off the web. So we'll start out in Google and I was lucky today to have this wonderful Google animation in the in the background here so we're gonna go hop, go ahead and start out by searching for the Mona Lisa and we're gonna go to images and under search tools we're gonna look for any size and we're gonna choose large and this will give us the larger resolution the images with more pixels on the top of the search and just kind of looking at these to see which one I trust is actually the actual Mona Lisa image and this one here is is a cropped in view and it's from Wikipedia so I guess I can trust that so I'll go ahead and click on that and right click and save this image Okay, and we can go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. Now, we could make this real easy just by going to Filter, Pixelate, and choose Mosaic. And you see it pixelates the entire image for us, and it doesn't look too bad. And we could change the cell size as we wish. But we're going to look at being able to selectively pixelate this based on color range. So the first thing I'm going to do is unlock this background layer. And I'm going to do that by double clicking on it. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this base image. Okay, so what I want to do is start selecting areas of color. And I can do that by going to select color range. And I can pick different areas on the image. And the way I control how much of the color is selected is through this slider called fuzziness. So I'm going to start with this green area of trees which shows up on both sides of Mona Lisa's head and I'm going to find a, a greener area uh, as opposed to something more brown or black and I'm going to pick that area and as the fuzziness is higher Photoshop is less picky about the color and they'll grab anything near that color range and less fuzziness is really what I want so it's only getting the areas on both sides of Mona Lisa's head so I'm going to go with that about say there and click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste those pixels out using Control C and Control V. So copy and paste. And I'm going to rename this layer. We'll call this Pixel 1. Okay, and I'm going to turn off my base image layer by clicking off the eye. Okay, so it's a little hard to see what we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer in between the base image and the pixel one. It's just a color fill layer. With, to begin with, it'll just be a white color layer. So I'll go up to layer and I'll choose new fill layer, solid color. I'll leave the default name. And this color picker will come up. I'm just going to use an RGB value set to white so that's 255 for all three of these and I'm gonna place that color fill layer in between base image and pixel one so now I can see better the pixels that I have and I have this one floating up here and I'd like to get rid of that so I can use my marquee selection tool and just grab that make sure pixel one layer is current and hit the delete key and to deselect the shortcut is control D 
Okay, so let's go ahead and let's accentuate the color of this pixel selection. And I can do that by adding uh, an adjustment layer above pixel 1. So I'm going up again to layer and I'm going to choose new adjustment layer hue saturation. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate the color so I get more color and you see that happening here. Okay, now the problem with the hue saturation layer is that it's also going to affect all of the layers below it. So it'll affect pixel 1, color fill 1, and base image. And if I turn off color fill 1 and turn back on base image, and I'm going to turn on and off this hue saturation layer, and you'll see that it's being applied to the Mona Lisa, to the base image which I don't want. I only want it on pixel 1. So what I can do is use the shortcut Control-Alt-G Control-Alt-G and that applies it and you see this little down arrow it applies this adjustment layer only to pixel 1 and Control-Alt-G again applies it to everything beneath it but again I only want it on pixel 1 so Control-Alt-G and it's only affecting this layer so I'll turn back on my color fill to work just with the selected pixels. Okay, so let's go ahead now and pixelate these or this area. And we're going to go up to our filter, pixelate, and we're going to choose mosaic. Okay, and I can make adjustments on the size of those cells. and I'll hit OK. Now, one issue I have is that filter that was applied, I don't have any control over it. I can't turn it on and off anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my history here and I'm going to go back a step before Mosaic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the layer pixel 1 and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And now I'm going to apply that filter. Filter, pixelate, mosaic. And I'm going to click OK. And now I have the option of turning it on and off. I have the option of double clicking on it and changing the pixel size which is really important to have this control over it down the road in case I want to change something okay so let's just go through these steps a few more times uh, with a couple different areas on the Mona Lisa painting so I'm gonna turn off my color fill one so I can see my base image I'm going to make my base image layer current each time because that's the layer that I need to select the color range from. So I'll go up to select color range and let's work with this area above Mona Lisa's head. Okay, and adjust the fuzziness a little bit. That looks good. Okay, so again, it's Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. I'm going to call this Pixel 2. And I don't need to keep creating color fill layers. I just need one color fill layer. But it always needs to be just above the base image. And I can turn that on and I can turn off my pixel 1 layer okay so make my pixel 2 layer current here we have it and again I'm going to 
apply a hue saturation layer to it. Now I can take this layer and I can right click and I can duplicate layer and I can drag it down just above pixel 2 and I'm just going to test that out and I see it's only affecting pixel 2 if I double click on this part of it that I just did I can always bring up the hue saturation and I can make adjustments to that at any time now I want to apply the mosaic filter to this pixel 2 layer and remember before I do that I want to right click and choose convert to smart object and now I can apply my filter there we go and I can change the size remember I can always come back and change this so maybe I make these squares a little bigger than the last ones that I had okay so let's turn off the color fill layer and I'm just gonna turn on all my layers just to see what I have okay so we're not seeing very much happen here even though when I turn off the base image and turn back on color fill we have we definitely have some pixels here uh, with some variations in color but we're not seeing them when the base image is on and what we can do is we can add a blending option or an effect which is bevel and emboss so I'm gonna start out by doing this to the layer pixel one so pixel one layer is current I'm gonna go down here to the effects button and I'm gonna click on that little down arrow and I'm gonna choose bevel and emboss And I'm going to choose outer bevel. And I'm going to raise the depth of this. And you'll see now that we're getting this to show up based on this slider. So when I first applied it, couldn't see very much. But as I increase the depth, I get more of that bevel effect to show up. So now we're really seeing it over the, the painting and one little option that helps with this is if we check on contour and it just gives us a lot more definition around those pixels and I can change the size of that if needed I could soften it up a little bit so there's lots of settings here okay so I'm just gonna hit OK to apply, apply that now what's nice about the bevel and emboss is it shows up here and I can turn it on and off and I can double click on effects and I can change that at any time down the road so all of this all of these settings can be adjusted later on but one thing I can do is if I want to apply that bevel and, bevel and emboss to my other layer pixel 2 I can right click on pixel 1 and I can choose copy layer style and then I can go to my pixel 2 layer right click and choose paste layer style and it applies that layer style to pixel 2 okay let me just go ahead and just do it one more time and, and this time I'll choose I'll choose the face of Mona Lisa to add the pixels to so again remember you want to start all the way back down on your base image and make that current and we'll go up to select color range and I'm gonna select an area of Mona Lisa's face I'm going to copy and paste it I'll rename it call it pixel 3 I'm gonna place it above the color fill layer I can copy and paste one of these hue saturation layers so I'll right click and I'll say duplicate layer and 
I'll drag it just on top of pixel 3. Now I noticed that these are affecting the background image. So I just want to go over that, click on the hue saturation layer, and do a control alt G so it only affects the one layer below it. And I'll do the same thing for this. Control Alt G. So make sure on all these adjustment layers that you have the little down arrow. Okay. So the last one here, Pixel 3. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my filter Pixelate Mosaic. And I'm going to adjust. I'm not seeing it really good because I need this color fill layer on. There we go. So again, filter, pixelate, mosaic. And maybe I'll make these really small. And one thing I forgot to do was convert it to a smart object. You see that I don't have now any control over the mosaic filter, so I'll just control Z to go back one step. Right click, convert this to a smart object. Apply my mosaic filter. And I'm going to right click on pixel 2 and choose copy layer style. And right click on pixel 3 and paste layer style. And I'm going to turn off color fill 1. Needs a little work, but uh, I think that gives you a good idea of how to do it.